All right, we're back on Crab Champions, going for the diamond run on the every weapon here, but we've only done two of them so far. We got diamond on rocket launcher, and oh, I've got mail. Diamond on sniper. So let's grab spore shot. Interesting. That almost sounds like maybe I should go for minigun. Uh, what's the percentage chance here? Nine percent chance. 5% chance on, on the minigun. I'm going to go for the minigun this round because it's only like half of the percentage for chance on spore shot. And we've already got one. Look at that. So I've noticed that my runs kind of have a failing point. If, if, if it doesn't win, the failing point is usually not enough crystals to buy stuff or not enough damage at a boss. So I think the big play here is try and stay ahead of the curve. As much as possible, which means getting any damage flat upgrades would be really good, especially for the minigun. We need we need sharp shot. It is important. So we get damage combo, not great. The spore shot should help us a little bit. Okay. Make sure we collect as much as we can. Oh, grubs. Look at that, Spore Shot's huge. Yeah, we should spawn a lot of spores with 5% chance and how, how often we're shooting. Just gotta, yep. Oh, we got a double spinning puffer fish with the, the spores. We got, I think we've got shields on all these guys, but I can't see if they have shield because of the, uh, there's a glitch with the order of like what shows up underwater. These things are stuck. And there we go. Underwater energy rings do not show up and neither do shields, which makes it hard to tell what's going on, but otherwise this game is near perfect. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. I'm not usually able to clear the entire horde when I do a horde wave. So this is looking good. Just gotta stay ahead of that damage curve. Sonic Boom Piercing Wave is good. Um, do I go for... No, I don't have enough damage for an elite right now. Like I said, the failing points are usually damage fall off on elites. Which if we don't have enough damage, I shouldn't go for it. We've got an item there. Oh, that took a bit of damage. Maybe I do have the damage. I'm actually pretty strong. Could have went for the elite to get the uh, epic, epic loot. Let's go random here. We got a damage combo again. It's only good when my damage when my combo's actually up. I'll get an item. Damage combo again. Clip shot, sure. Go for an upgrade. We get damage combo again. That'd be kind of funny, actually. Well, I will say our damage is good. Because usually the minigun only does 12s at the very beginning. Well, not usually. It always does only 12. Which is rough, but you can see we're actually clearing out things pretty easily, especially with the spore shot. I actually want to get those crystals, but I don't know if I'm able to get them. Looks like there's only one left. We'll grab all these crystals real quick. And there we go. 620, not bad. Upgrade on piercing wave. I will take that. I'll go critical here. I really wanted to go elite. I feel pretty good, but our HP is pretty low. Might be wise to go for... Ooh, you can get a glass totem here. Let me open this. Whoa. What is going on? Let me grab all these crystals real quick.
Random shot. I'm not a big fan of random shot because it can it, it can basically add ice randomly. But it, I'll definitely take it at the start. Doesn't hurt. Let's go for max health here. Sweet. Uh, I'll do hot shot for now. It's kind of scary, but increasing my crit chance but I take more damage isn't the best. Let's head down and look for a an elite, maybe. Doesn't like look like there's any, so we'll just go on the outskirts. That was an example of the shield not showing up under the water there. I didn't know that crab had shield on him. I'm trying to get more in the face of the enemies and take the crystals because that's the biggest problem with the uh, the mutator that removes crystals uh, after a little bit they drop on the floor is I can't pick them up if I don't go towards the enemies that are surrounding the crystals so there we go and I can already tell I'm doing a lot better with the crystal collection because I have over a thousand which never happens this early We are quite low though. Damage combo again. I'll go double damage. We got mirrored mirrored projectiles and homing thorns. So keep my distance. But unfortunately, this is a level that's not the easiest to do that, so let me just keep my distance as much as I can. Biggest thing is I don't want to shoot anything when I'm near them. Oh, a little scary. Let's go for the crystals. Nice, fifteen hundred. I think being more diligent about grabbing crystals is going to help me a lot because I find that I can't buy enough stuff before the elite fight. And sometimes you get unlucky like, like we are right now and not getting a shop at all. We actually got a shop. This Well, this is actually the guaranteed one. Never mind. Spread increase? I don't think I want to do that. I'm going to do a bigger boom. And clip shot just adds more damage, so I'll take that. Okay, we have to heal up. Sweet. Okay, what do we got? Piercing wave. I probably want to do that. And rapid fire. I'll take both of these. And I'll even buy armor. Need to focus a little more on armor. It's pretty good. Clip shot again. Our damage is already doing really good. So I feel pretty good about this boss. I don't know why there's so many mines though. Uh, yeah, I would say our damage is pretty good. I think my choice to do minigun with, with, uh, with the spore shot was a good idea. Oh, whoops. I think I just said it was a pretty good idea to do spore shot as a good idea. I don't know. I don't know what I just said. My phone just dropped, but it's okay. Um, take some armor. Damage shot only adds like 12 damage, I think. Whereas shotgun blast will happen pretty often. As you can see here, it's. Shooting. I think for the minigun, you really want to work, uh, like focus on chance-based effects rather than flat damage increase because, or, or flat damage increase is good, but percentage damage increase doesn't do much because your base damage is 12. So when you get damage shot, it's like only 12 extra damage. I mean, which is still good per shot. I meant to shoot this before that ended, but I, I killed everything so fast. Lost a, lost a mini boss. I guess we go damage combo again. I mean, at this point, it is pretty good, actually. 90% per combo level, which is like 12 damage per combo level. I guess more like... I don't know what, if it rounds up or not. I'm going to go... Hmm, little shop here. Things are ramping up in, in expense. But as you can see here, we got Thorn Explosion for free. Pretty lucky, though. Random shot. Uh, I don't know. I Do I invest in more random shot? I guess I am. 
Oh, arc shot's huge. Okay. This is where we sell all the grenade mods, because I don't really worry too much about grenades. Get arc shot. I would love firework shot too, but I don't know if I can realistically get rid of anything. I guess I would rather have firework shot over shotgun shot, but I would still need to sell something. So that's 355 plus that is exactly 900 or 1000. That's enough. So I could do this. And get firework shot. I can't tell if my damage got worse. It might have gotten worse. Never mind. Damage is just fine. Okay. Sure. You know when we're at this... Oh, triple shot's huge. Chance of fire, triple shot. Okay. Things are going well. Let's go for another elite. That's easy. Easy money. When you can do this much damage this early on, take your opportunity to do as many elites as possible. Epic chests are the way to go. Piercing shot. Shots pierce through enemies? Sure. Okay, spike chest it is. And I believe, yeah, we have no slots left. We're gonna, we just added one, so it's going to get expensive to add more. It's the horde wave. Oh boy, I don't want to get frozen. Okay. Is that a shielded pumpkin? It is. Ow. The way to make this, this run basically unlosable is to get regenerating armor and then increase my HP as high as I can go. Supercharged. I will take that. It's getting expensive though. Uh... I go random here. One hit, one hit energy rings is kind of terrifying. We see it. I see a random chest down there. So a free, free item. Maybe I want like checklist or something. This is a party. I'm frozen. No! Just hanging out. Now can I make it back up? I doubt it. Wait a minute. No! I almost did it though. Can we grab this chest down here? Free item. Vitality. I'm not at, not at above 85% HP right now, but definitely will be helpful. Damage combo again or clip shot. I feel like clip shot is just better. I think it do, does more damage. Can we go cri critical here? This, this room is all about just clearing the waves from both directions, so make sure we shoot both both ways. Okay. Oh, the spore shot's so good. I think the spore shot is still secretly carrying. Because it's just shooting so many. So an upgrade on the spore shot would be crazy. Yep. Good money too. I got flawless. Didn't even realize. Was, I forgot there was a flawless round. 
Hot shot again. I'm going to go for a power punch. Increase crit damage. Oh, man. Increase. I could get, like, more crit chance or just increase the damage of the crit right now. I think I'm going to do that. Because 25% is already really good or 20% is already really good. Just having the ability to one-shot everything is really good. It'll keep me alive. I think the hardest thing of this game is when you get those mini bosses that are super dangerous and they are also like really hard to clear. Like this guy. Because if he lasers you, you're dead. Another laser crab. Okay. Let's not freak out here. Good. We need armor really badly because we take increased damage right now and I don't really want to take damage. Piercing shot or firework shot? Man, that's a tough one. Oh, wait. Pier it's piercing shot, not piercing wave. I'll take firework shot. All right, a chance for some armor. What's this guy? Random shot? I guess I'm going into it. I mean, it's kind of weird. I could take more health, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be greedy here. Damage combo up again. I will buy the armor though. Firework shot again. I don't really know what I could even increase though, or get rid of. Maybe the random shot. That's enough. I think I will do that. Because having like a lot of firework shots, as you can see, is pretty good. Got another boss here. Okay. He's dead. And he's dead. Still a bit scared about our situation on our our health situation, but I'll take lightning aura. Let us continue. I hate that those slugs just appear on you like that. Okay, that was a fast round. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Damage combo again. What is going on? That is eight damage combo. See a chest in the in the farm. Grim Reaper might as well get some healing. Critical blast is huge. I'll reroll once to see what happens. Level up. Oh my goodness. How much does this damage combo sell for? That is not worth getting rid of though. Would I rather sell... Sport shot I think is still secretly carrying. Man, level up is so good though. Oh, that's so tough. Man, I wish I had grenade mods to just get rid of. Yeah, I really don't think I can get rid of anything. That's just sad. It's just taunting me. I'm actually going to go for homing barrels and energy rings and get some health, hopefully. What are they doing over here? Ow. Energy rings. What are we missing here? Oh. That guy, apparently. Hard target. I'll go for extra health here. Extra vitality for the damage. Go for elite again. Oh, max health. Oh, I missed it. I got like one extra HP or two, uh, four. I got four.
I think I'm, I think Mega Crit makes more sense. What's Triple Shot at? 10% chance. Oh, I feel like... I think Mega Crit makes more sense. Spike Chest. Homing Thorns and Homing Barrels. Everything's homing at me. Um, yeah, no, thank you. Sweet. Double spike test. What do we got? Critical blast. Juice. Okay, we go for juiced here. And mega crit. Okay, I'm glad I got the mega crit. Uh... We have Grim Reaper, which heals five after eliminating enemies for one second cooldown. I think I'll go for this. We should get a good amount of health back. Of course, unless I hurt myself. Feeling a good amount. Almost full health, actually. Yeah, 205 is not bad. Grim Reaper is actually kind of huge. See the crystals? Grab the crystals. You don't burn in lava during these intermissions. Collector is huge for damage. Go for elemental here. I don't think we have any elemental. We, we got rid of our random shot. Hold the line. That was so greedy, but that was so much money. I think that was worth it. Yeah, I got to really focus on getting crystals because you can really miss a lot of money if you don't go for it. We'll go for poison shot here. A double random. I feel, I feel like you can't really, can't really turn down a double chest because you could get, you could just get random. I'm also gonna hit this chest really early here. Hopefully, get some health back. Okay, let's keep going. Hit this chest again. We do lose a bit of max HP when we do that, but I think it's worth the item. Hopefully. We'll see what the items are. Alright. I won't say the I will say the crystal bundle might be worth it. Okay, these were not worth it, but we do have a lot of crystals now. That's still kind of worth it. Like five thousand five thousand dollars for what? Twenty max HP. Oh my god. Okay, let's see if we can find some hearts. There's a silver heart in the shop. Wait, that's not. Yeah, that's right here. Okay. Here we go. Chance to fire powerful triangle projectiles with your shots. Okay, this costs five thousand dollars though. Okay. What do we got here? Crystal asteroids. And I think I just invest in the silver heart. Arc shot. 
eight percent chance. I can't really justify getting rid of anything else. I mean, maybe this. But the asteroid's gonna be a really good bonus loot, so I think we just stick with it. 150 HP going into the final boss. Kind of terrifying. I don't think we're too worried as long as we stay away. Okay. Wait, the crystal asteroid showed up right here. It's right there. There's an item. <laughs> okay, wow. Maybe already worth it. Okay. Grab all my keys. Well, you don't get it if you don't open it before. <laughs> oh, what a joke. Okay. Bronze armor. Regenerating armor. Okay, that's like literally just we win. Okay, let's loop around. Yeah, if we see our if we see our uh, crystal asteroid, make sure to break it before the round ends. I guess. The way to win now is to get fortitude. Because the armor only counts as strong as your max HP. So, although we have armor, we still only have... I think it's 150 HP per armor. I'm not really sure. Clip shot again. So, I might, might have been smarter to go for random there just to hopefully get a... A max HP thing. I really wanted to stand in that more, but I was getting shot, so. Also, I think our clip shot is so leveled up that we now need to get more magazine size if it even like wants to count for anything. Okay. Not bad. I didn't check for the uh, asteroid, but. What's this? No, that one's terrible. Speaking of, yeah, clip shot again. I'm pretty sure we need to get upgrade. I can go for mirror projectile spike strikes or I can just go for a speed. I think I'm just gonna go for a speed because most of the most of the luck stuff is not very good unless you get purple or higher. But I guess you need to go for purple you need to go for the luck stuff to get the chance for purple to make it easier to get to find. Oh my god, another gold totem. This is insane. I don't think I do it though. I don't I don't know. Oh gosh. He's gonna shoot the laser. <laughs> what? Man, I don't think I'd do that. We could definitely try though. Reload speed increase, why not? I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, 80,000 crystals. We need a shop. We need a bad. We saw that one asteroid bundle and we haven't seen one yet. After that first one. I didn't even get the item from. Okay. Please shop. Please shop. No. Damage combo again. What is it even at? Is that 135% per combo level? So that's like... That's like 16 damage per <laughs> per combo level. So we're getting 80 extra damage. It's not even that much, to be honest. Oh, there's an asteroid. 
Got our first real item asteroid once I can open it. Shoot it. Shoot it. There it goes. So the thing that terrifies me the most is uh, fire, because fire will just burn through my shield very, very quickly. So that's one thing that I'm kind of scared of. Actually, it's probably the only thing I'm scared of, if, I get, if I'm thinking about this right. Ooh, a free upgrade? Vitality? Sure. So I need I need max health as soon as possible. I will go for fast class here. I dude, I I need just need I just need health. Sadly enough, I think the the, the thing I'd be ha most happy seeing in this epic chest, spike chest, would be a silver heart or a gold heart. I would gladly take either. In the shop, I'm gonna buy as much as I can, health wise. Ow. Remember when I said I was scared of fire and we see a fire skull? Yeah. Oh, I'm burning. Oh no. I think I'm dead. I might be dead. Oh my gosh. What did I just say about fire, man? Holy. Okay, we got a shop. And I. Can I buy this? Just barely. Critical Blast. Oh, you know we're going for shop. Oh my god. <laughs> no Silver Heart. I think we go for another transfer triple shot. Mega Crit. Juiced. More Grim Reaper. This is it. Silver Heart. Arcane Blast. I think I go for it. We got one Silver Heart and no armor. Like our damage is crazy. We just gotta okay, definitely a uh, health, health chest. I can't tell if this was a mistake coming in here or not. It might have been. Maybe not. I honestly can't tell what's going on. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I have no HP, no armor. Please give me fortitude, 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 fortitude. Oh, man. We got another shop, though. Heal when dealing damage. I think I'll just sell that for hopefully more money to get myself a heart or something. Bubble shot. Power punch. Gold heart. I can't buy it, but I will sell something for a, a silver heart. Kinda wanna sell this. I feel like that would be a big mistake, but the health is important. And there's three bosses now, so a little scarier. Let's keep the crystal asteroids, let's get rid of scatter shot. Let's take the health. And pray for the best. We really don't want to get by the fire. 
It's like the biggest thing, like I, like I said before. 300 HP is a lot better than 75, but still not great. I will melt. I think I killed the fire crab. I can't tell. Oh, he's right here. Let's go. Woohoo! Epic chest. What are we getting? C critical blast again? Money is power. Ooh. Let's do that. I think it's, uh, yeah, 5% for every 1,000 crystals. Bronze heart. Die. Thank you. Okay, 41. We are nearing the end. Two thirds of the way. Sharp shot's so huge. We finally found it. We had a slot open. I'm not even sure how that happened. Did I sell something? I might have sold something. Okay, we go energy, energy rings, spike strikes for the potential of getting. Oh, this is a horrible room for this. Oh, okay, we got to focus up. I think that I'm right on this, but I don't think that they can have shields on this, on this modifier. Because of the fact that I think it would be like impossible to avoid damage. Looks like we're pretty much there. Got ice slug to deal with. Yeah, I think that they can't spawn with shields. Which I'm glad the developer thought of that. Fortitude, there it is. Okay. Surely we're in a good spot here. And I'll even go for uh, actually I'll just we'll just go for a bronze heart here. We'll go for a shop. Now we gotta remember money's power actually makes it so we want to have money in our pockets because we get more damage. So we've gotta think about the fall off of damage. If we go for an item. I mean, aura shot's just too good not to, though. 24 grand plus the aura shot. There we go. Yep. Max HP. Let's go for a damage chest. Hopefully another sharp shot. I'm pretty sure, at least it feels this way, when you find an item, you have a higher chance of finding it again. I'm not sure if that's true. But it sure feels that way. Once I see sharp shot, it usually comes up a lot more often. All right. Oh, crystal asteroid. Nice. Where to get me? Heavy hitter. Bye bye. Wombo combo. I'm gonna sell that. I don't really like to slow my fire rate down, especially with chance based mods, so. We will just continue. I really need an upgrade to my ammo capacity. Because I'm pretty sure clip shot would be doing way more damage if I could keep shooting for longer. No, oh, thank you, Greed Totem. You can, uh, you cannot exist. Thank you. Oh boy. I found a spot. Bye bye, Ant. You froze me again. Get off me. Can I find a way back up here? And call me a pro gamer. 
Hot shot. Does that increase my damage intake? 50%. I think it's a bad idea. I'm going for health here. That might have been a bad idea to pick that up. Let's open up that. I mean, just don't get hit, right? Famous last words. Nice. We're only getting 25 HP per round. We need to get more fortitude if we can. Ah, speaking of. En elemental explosions and energy rings. Not the scariest, but still not to be taken lightly because they yeah, the energy rings are crazy. Once again, because of elemental explosions, I'm pretty sure that we don't have any shielded enemies. Ow. All the money I'm missing, man. There's so much money up over there. It's not worth losing my shield. Free item. I don't really want my shots to be fast, uh, faster. Damage com combo again. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Sharp shot. Oh my god. Oh, no way. I go shop here. It's just smarter. I'll stop at a thousand. Sharp shot again, vitality again. We need to heal though. More fortitude. Another arc shot. Okay, we're hitting some serious numbers now. We got another shop, so hopefully we can heal a little more. I would have liked to see a green rock, but all good. Arc shot again. I'll take the fortitude. So we should be getting like a, a thousand HP per round now. Oh, we have so many stacks of fire. That is melting away our shield. Fortitude again. Okay, the fire is dealt with. That's the most important thing. Get in there. Max health increased by 125. 40 grand for the sharpshooter, but I'll take it. Probably honestly Grim Reaper to get my health back up. I think I think it's level 3 now. It is. So we get 15 HP every kill. And we got another armor. Okay, we're in a good spot. Oh my. Nice, 125 is pretty good. We got another heal as well, so we're at full HP. Is that a gold totem? Oh my god, do we do it? Splash damage. Oh man, what do I get rid of? I think I have to get rid of Sharpshooter. Why did I say it like that? Sharpshooter. 
Damage combo again. This is insane. What is this? 165% per level. The splash damage is insane. It's just sensory overload. Insane. Damage combo again. What is happening? Oh, I think I just go double random once again. As long as I get flawless. But this is a pretty hard island to get flawless. Okay, well, it's not po impossible. Just that it was hard. Hot shot again. I don't think I'd do that. I go for driller here. D damage combo. Okay, I think I go for crits, though. Double flaw well, flawless damage here. Every time I upgrade my crit damage, I'm technically increasing it by three times because. I have mega crit, which I think procs pretty often. We have two of them at least, two levels. I don't think I've been hurt yet. Nope. The damage combo again, what is going on? And a sharp shot. Go for crit here. I don't know if this is true, but every single one of my wins has included regenerating armor. I think there's a re reoccurring, uh, recurring theme here of the win strat. Find regenerating armor, you win. Regenerating armor and fortitude. Those two together are just so broken. Because the armor gets so strong, it's impossible to even take enough damage. Unless you're absolutely trolling. But it just seems too easy. What do we get here? Gemstone. A little late to the party. A little late to the party. Power punch. I'm scared to upgrade. I'm scared to upgrade my uh, hot shot anymore and make it, you know, even scarier damage. Huge shout out to uh, Spore Shot too at the beginning because that definitely kept my run in it. Did I sell it? Or did I have Spore Shot? I can't remember what I had. My goodness. Money is crazy. That was a long, that was a long, long horde. Time bolt is terrible. Fortitude again. Why not? I mean, we only have a few islands left, but what am I going to get second win when my our health is below 25%? Yeah, okay. That's so scary at this point. I don't really want to throw a run at one hit. I'm going to go for flawless health. There's no need for me to get greedy for damage like this when my damage is already insane. So I've thrown a run like that before. I don't really want to do it again. Especially with how chaotic this is. Like, it's so easy to take one hit of damage at this point. Like, yes, you kill everything instantly, but there's too much going on. Too much going on to really guarantee you're not going to get hit.
I guess I should have went flaw uh, for the flawless one hit, huh? Fortitude again. It adds. It's gonna add more than eight fifty HP. So vitality. Trapnel energy rings, huh? Ow. So be pretty careful. I'm going to burn in the lava here. You can stand in it for a second as long as you jump out immediately. What's left? The skulls? What do you got for me? High voltage? Eh. Bonus crystals is super late to the party as well. Money is power is actually pretty big. So it should be to the first 200,000 crystals, yeah. Alright. Regenerating armor level 2, that's pretty dumb. That doesn't even do anything for me. Grim Reaper just in case, I guess. Supercharged? We're now losing damage as we as we buy things, but it's too fun. It's too fun. Regenerating armor again, it really wants me to have that. Poison shot up. And the last one, hot shot again. Power punch. Let's just keep our damage up. Let's go for it. This is it. Well, that was a great boss. I will not lie. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and we did a third weapon. Let's go. It's huge. And like tradition, we didn't even open the asteroid for the final boss. But it doesn't even matter. Just for fun, let's open up the... The chest here. It was spore shot that we had at the beginning. There it is. It's just that I dropped it for a second. We gave a well deserved upgrade at the very end, but that's going to be it for the minigun. Not like the minigun's that hard of a weapon to get, I think, because it's so strong. But there it is. Ranked up minigun to diamond. Hopefully that's gold. It is gold. We are now gold at level 170. Not too bad. So, still. Nine more to go. I really think that the hardest ones are going to be the dual shotguns. The auto shotgun's pretty strong, and in the distance isn't too bad. And the auto rifle's just not that that strong. Neither is the orb launcher, so all of those are going to be pretty tough. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we're going to keep going for these weapons and try to get uh, to uh, the diamond as soon as possible. Peace.